Everybody's video, Bob. This is a bit of a follow up on a video I posted uh, just recently about my Mont Blanc uh, pen collection and about the Marilyn Monroe rollerball pen that I had bought that turned out to be fake. And here it is. This is the pen that I ordered off of eBay and it turned out to be completely fake. Came in this box. Now this is a replica. Uh, the, 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 everything about it. This box is a replica. Um, this booklet is a replica. This box is a replica. The C isn't exactly, you know, this isn't correct. And this is how the the pen arrived in this box like that. And this is a box that's used for some of the smaller and other pens they use, but not for their custom collection like the Muse, Muses, uh, Marilyn Monroe. So everything about this was wrong, and I talked about it in the other video, which I will link in the description, uh, and it'll be linked at the end of this video if you're watching this one first and you wanna go back and see the details. So uh, this was a total failure. And one of the things that first set me off about it was I realized there was no serial number here on the edge of the clip. Every Mont Blanc, at least in the last 20 years that I know of, has a serial number engraved or laser etched on it. Couldn't find it on here. And there was a few other things that I found were wrong. Now, when I went down to the Mont Blanc store uh, here at our Dallas North Park Mall and I showed them the pen, one of the first things that we noticed when we opened it up uh, and looked at the cartridge is that it had completely the wrong cartridge in it. Now the fake pen had this uh, cartridge in there, which is a long cartridge. And this is not a Mont Blanc cartridge, even though it says it is. It's more like a Parker or something probably. That is not the one that goes in there. The one that the actual Mont Blanc Muse series uses is this little small one, right? take the end off of it there see and interestingly you know it's I mean this this will screw into the tip of the other one but that's not the one it uses and that's first dead giveaway some other dead giveaways again which are mentioned on the other video are things like the inside of this cap which I doubt you'll be able to oh you can see it uh, from that video see that brass screw in there that's not the kind of fastener they use to attach this. And here's another, now this isn't, you know, these are some things that you wouldn't notice it without seeing them close to, next to each other, which we're gonna do here in a minute, but the gold on this should be a champagne gold, almost a white gold, a very, very light yellow gold. This is a very yellow, yellowy gold. And also the threads are a little, you hear that? I'm gonna to demonstrate to you here in a minute. So, and, and another thing, the clips on this is, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't snap, right? I have a collection of other real, uh, I keep them in this drawer here, you can't see, but every, every Mont Blanc pen that I have, you know, when you, when you put it in your pocket, right, and you pull it out, it makes that noise. That's a Star Walker or whatever you call it. Yeah. See that noise? Pix. It's a Pix. Right? See? Even the city bitty little Mozart, I think that one's called. Yeah. So, um, this one, no snap. It doesn't, it doesn't work. All right. Without further ado, let's take a look at the actual real Marilyn Monroe pen. Okay, I purchased this from a reputable dealer. And, um, you know, there's gonna be uh, serial numbers and things here. I don't wanna show uh, mine, but this is the box and how it would come. I got this nice presentation box comes with this booklet that uh, tells you all about the pen 
And normally, if you were to purchase this in the store, so I talked about this in the other video, the way it's supposed to happen is when you purchase this in the store, they would write the serial number of the pin on there, and they would put their official stamp on it, and then uh, they would register the, uh, the pen. But this is the book. And this would be kind of costly to, to manufacture, so th these, these fakers aren't going through that much trouble. But you can get a nice look at how clean that is. And then you open it up, and there it is on display. Now, I've already opened this, so what would happen is you would remove the pin, and then you would lift this up, and then underneath there, in here would be your your cartridge, which was tucked away neatly in there. Sorry, and um, that's that's all there is in this presentation box. And notice, you know how clean that is. So I'm going to move these out of the way. take a good look at it up close. Let's see if I can move this light over a little bit more here. Notice the the silver in the pearl and how fine the writing is. But I gotta say when comparing it to the fake it's very 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 close. We're going to put our cartridge in now. I keep marking myself. It's virtually impossible. For me not to do that. Now remember I was talking earlier about how janky the other one is. Listen, listen closely. You know, this is just a it's a fine, fine thread. Alright, now let me compare the fake side by side. Now I don't know if you can tell the color difference here um, but in person you can and maybe it doesn't translate as well on video but the original is a little bit darker blood red when you compare them but the first thing you'll notice is the gold and the pearl the pearl is very plasticky and white whereas it doesn't have that silver grayish tone and the gold is very yellowy. Let me take a microfiber and clean it off for you here. Get my fingerprints on it. And so look at the yellowness of the gold, whereas it should be very champagne. All right. Same thing here close. And they've done an amazing job. I mean, here, let me wipe these off down here. There we go. I mean, it, it's it's incredible, the detail. Let me try to focus. There we go. That they've copied. It's pretty amazing. You know, how, how close, how close they've really gotten it. We'll unscrew both of them. Hear that noise? All right. Let me listen to this one. It's smooth. Okay. We'll look at the, the writing surfaces here. Very, very close, but there's just this, this difference in the c color tone. So it's very, very, very close. And you just gotta really, you really gotta be careful. I mean, 
to the, if you didn't have one to compare it to and you didn't know what you're looking at, I mean, can you tell the color differences there? Can you tell? I don't know if you can, but I can see it. You see how this is just a little bit darker? And if you didn't have another one to compare to, you might not be able to tell. But remember a minute ago, I talked about the snap. See, snap. All right. This one doesn't have a snap. See, it's not tempered. And also, I don't know if we can see inside there. Let me see, I think I got a flashlight. We can see inside the, see how the inside of this looks. And then the fake has this screw. They don't use screws like that. You would think they do. I mean, you would think that that, but no, this is, that's the inside. Just for fun, let's look at the inside of the writing instrument here. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. Nothing really to see. But we'll look at both of them. Uh, well, you can you can kind of see that the, it doesn't go far in and then it's plastic. Whereas this one here, uh, I guess it's, it's just shinier. Hmm. Very, very close. But... The cartridge should give it away immediately. So if someone is offering one of uh, one of these pens for sale, ask them to unscrew it and show you the cartridge. All right, we're going to look at one, you know, more thing. The serial number. I'm not going to. Uh, I, I I don't want to show off my serial number necessarily, but the serial number is right here and you would you'd be able to see that um with a loop but this one does not have any serial number on it and you know if these fakers if they had just and i you know i know i'm giving them i'm giving them fuel here i shouldn't be doing that but if they had put the if they had gotten the serial number on there and the proper cartridge i would have never figured it out and i bet you showing it to the average mump Blanc store attendant they wouldn't have figured it out either but there you go. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of these two rollerball pens. I've been told that you can pick up the fake ones for 10, 20 bucks out on the Chinese markets from people that are in China right now. I paid a hundred dollars for it from a guy in Australia, but he really got me good. I wanted to add one more thing. I noticed on the, uh, website on Mont Blanc, they talk about the weight of the pen. It should be 38 grams without the cartridge, sans cartridge. Ah, there we are, 38. The cartridge itself probably, you know, takes up a little bit. So you weigh the pen empty because the reason you weigh it empty is because there could be different amounts of ink and you don't know how much ink is in there. So you don't want to weigh that when you're dealing with grams. This is a kind of a cheapy scale, so it's not that, that great. So, but this is the fake one. And I've got it taken apart just because, let me do it this way. There we go. At 35. Why 35? Because this doesn't have the same quality of metal. It doesn't have actual gold on it. You know, um, this is one of the things that we're talking about when we're talking about materials. I, I, I need to investigate what this material is. I think it may be, uh, I think they might use titanium or something like that, but they use a quality metal and then quite a bit of gold plating, the champagne gold, you know. So the retail on this, Pen is something over eight hundred dollars. I say I want to I want to say like eight thirty for the rollerball uh, on their website. But this has gold 
and a real pearl on it and things. Is it worth $800? Come on, we all know that that's a little high. But this is uh, another way you can tell. Now, of course, you know, you're not gonna be able to weigh the thing while, you, while, <laughs> while you're looking at it online or whatever. And, and you can be lied to in, in any number of ways. Um, but if you had the opportunity to really inspect the thing, or let's say you bought the thing and you had the ability to return it somehow, like it, for instance, when you're making purchases like these, always make sure to use you know a quality payment system. Like I have an American Express Platinum and it protects me in purchases like these. Or, you know, even when you're using PayPal and eBay, things like that. You know, people talk about eBay all the time and how it's not safe. But, um, you know, I feel that it is because I'm going to get my money back from this guy. I'm going to file a claim and I'm going to return this fake pen. You know, if it wasn't a hundred bucks, if it was 10 or 20 bucks, it'd be worth having around, I suppose. But, you know what? I wouldn't want to be caught dead with a fake pen, you know, around one of my colleagues, one, a collector, and he sees that I'm walking around with a fake Mont Blanc, you know, how disgusting, you know, you'd lose all credibility, at least if you admitted it or you knew about it, it's just like, you know, and then as a collector, how could you have any respect among your peers walking around with such a fake, you know, with a fake, fake pen or a fake Rolex, it's... It's just gross. No. No. It's wrong. It's stealing. It's unethical. And it's crap. Because this thing isn't going to last. The gold's going to rub off. The pearl will fall. Why would you deprive yourself? The entire point of, of the people who collect these things is because we enjoy fine things. We appreciate the craftsmanship. And this is not craftsmanship. This is plagiarism, and this is crap. So, sorry for the moral rant there, but these are the things you want to look for. Uh, and this is a beautiful, fine writing instrument. Thank you, Mont Blanc, for making this. And I hope that I helped some of you. And if you got one of these, please report the seller to the FBI, uh, any information that you have, and make sure you leave them a negative feedback and make sure that they know that they can't put these out into the world. It's not worth it. This is crap. Thanks for watching my video. If you're a collector of Mont Blanc pens and things like that, believe it or not, I would say I'm not necessarily somebody you would subscribe to. I normally do car reviews and things, but every once in a while I do something like this. So this was more of a keyword search thing. So um, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm Video Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.